What's up, y'all? Oh, I guess that'll work. What is up, everybody? Oh, that's right, that's right, okay. Listen, what's going on, everybody? Hope all is well. Listen, I, I just want to come on to deal with some things, address some stuff today. What's up, Wendell? Um, as a, as a content creator, a journalist, this is what I do, okay? This is what I do. Um, I don't have a dog in a fight when it comes down to all of this stuff. I don't have a dog in the fight, okay? Hey, um, y'all people want to sit out here. Hey, Miss Sharon. Hey, Mo Miles. Y'all want to get mad because people like myself report the news. You feel what I'm saying? People want to get mad because you sit out here and you tell what's going on. No, nobody's jealous. Nobody's upset. Nobody's, you know, we're just talking about what's going on. For some people, this is a little personal for them. So whether it is Reverend Dickhead, anybody, whatever the case may be. Hey, Darius. But I went to court last week. But no, I'm sorry. No, it's still this week. I went to court this week with Joy. I did. Joy called me and she said, Mario, can you come to court for me with me and be a witness? Because this nigga want to sit up out here and say that I gave you court paperwork. Now, mind y'all, anybody who has, hey, Jazz, what's up, Darius? Hey, brother. Hey, Auntie Deb. These people want to sit out here and say, oh, jobs, you being messy, all jobs. These niggas want me to, I, I wish, I wish I could do the thing on my phone. Hey, James, I wish I could do the thing on my phone like I do on my computer. This nigga tells me, jobs, I need you to protect me. Jobs, I need you to protect me. But I, you know, I mean, you know, I can't protect you. Hey, Keisha, I, I, how the hell am I going to protect you? Hey, Jaleesa, how the hell am I going to protect you? And this is what I talk against. Y'all get what I'm saying? Listen, I got this from the court right here. I got this right here from the court, right here. I got this from the court when I went to uh, when I went to court with uh, Jaleesa. I got Jaleesa, but uh, with Joy. Hey, Elder. Raheem. Raheem was like, Mario, we've been friends forever. And I'm like, yes, we have. And if I really go into details of, of what all our friendship entails, I'm going to put all my business out there, all our business out there. But that was a long, 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 long time ago. But my thing is this. You can't, you can't do bush, right? You can't do BS. And then when your stuff come to surface and people be like, is that? No, that nigga can't be doing that. And then, y'all, I heard the mama. You feel what I'm saying? I heard. So this man wanted to sue Joy, right? He wanted to sue Joy because Joy made a video and came on my live and was talking about the things that had happened with between her and him and this young man. Feel me? So then Raheem, because I went to court Tuesday. I got back in town Monday, and I had to go to court Tuesday. Jaleesa, look at the title. I'm talking about Raheem. I went to court on Tuesday. I didn't have to talk because they had already handled it. The judge had already dismissed it and threw it out. Raheem got up, walked up, and walked out the courtroom before the man said missed. He said, we, we ain't been doing this because you can't keep the story straight. You're lying, sir. How was you here and here and there and all at the same time? The judge said, this dismissed. Before he said missed, he said, this is this. Raheem got up, walked the hell out the courthouse. And I'm sitting out here in, on the outside, and he couldn't even look at me in my face. And I know he probably gonna block me, but that's fine. And this is what I'm saying. It'd be a lot of y'all punk ass little boys who feel some type of way because of what I'm saying. And y'all women do the same thing too. Why he ain't gonna sit out here and tell his lawyer to tell the court that this is the, the, the first time he went to court. Gonna tell, to tell the lawyer to tell the court that Joy had sent me the paperwork. Sir, I got an email. See this? I see this? Y'all be thinking I be telling all the business. But when y'all put my name in the system, we got a fucking problem. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. We got a problem. When you put my name in the motherfucking system, bitch, I gotta come on out. I gotta say something. Because, bitch, you're not gonna get me caught up. But, but you're not gonna get me caught the fuck up. But, but you sent me, I got the email, the time, the date, you sent me. You sent me half ass court paperwork. You sent me everything that you wanted me to see, but you didn't send, you didn't send me what you were supposed to be, because I want, I want all the paperwork so I know who, what, where, when, why. Right, right here, right, right here. Order the show calls, all this stuff right here. Raheem J. Warren, petitioner against Joy Law, aka Joy Lang, responded. Right, right here. Right. See, I told y'all, I get, I get the, the court work, I get the paperwork, cause babe, when it come down to stuff like this, I gotta be able to show what's what's what. And we gonna read all of it. We don't, we don't read part. We read all of it. You gonna tell the judge that Joy sent me the paperwork? Well, you know good and damn well. When you good and damn well that you emailed me this stuff because you wanted me to defend you. You wanted me to cover you. Because you didn't want nobody to know that this is what was going on out here. All I'm saying, y'all, 
is before y'all try to downplay me and talk trash about me, I have been the same person from day one. Real talk. I have been the same person from day one. This man said... Uh-oh, no, that's not it. He wanted an injunction of a protective order to be put on joy. Uh, he said... Baby, you... Your handwriting. All right, he said the judge ordered Joy to remove any post on Facebook with my name. Post is still up. Also, Joy was not to mention me to anyone. She brought me up to a pastor, third party, also texting my staff about me. Joy called me, unknown number, June 30th, saying it's not over and she will have me killed. July 5th, while standing outside of my church, I was shot at twice. On July the 7th, while my car was parked at the church, it was broken into, I feel for my life, in the service. I feel for, I feel for my life. It is in uh, severe danger. And so he went to court on Tuesday, and the judge was asking about all this right here. And the judge said, because Joy's attorney had to bring all this stuff up, right? Joy's attorney, who is this? Uh uh. Joy's attorney was brought all this. Joy said, Joy's attorney said, Sir, here's a flyer here. Here's another flyer here. Now, how was you here when you said on the fly that you was here? How was you here on this day when you got another flyer saying that you was here at this time? Make it make sense. This man has been trying to get Joy put in jail because Joy said something. And to all y'all women who used to be married to Raheem, y'all was ignorant as a motherfucker. You know why? Because y'all know this shit and y'all won't say nothing. All y'all Detroit motherfuckers that know what's going on, y'all know this stuff and you won't say nothing. Raheem didn't send me this. Raheem did not send me. Raheem sent me two pieces of paper. Raheem sent me two. He sent me this piece. Well, no, hold on. This is what I got from the court on Tuesday. Raheem sent me two sheets of paper. The little order petitioner thing. And then another piece talking about when he was talking about what Joy did. Child, no, no, Raheem's a bottom. Raheem's a bottom. And, I, and another thing, since Raheem Zorda guy want to be out here doing, baby, listen, they told me, my ex told me about how you, 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 you asked them to just plow you in, um, in Texas. And what pisses me off about Texas is that all y'all down there in Texas, y'all knew about this man and you said nothing. Y'all down there in Texas, y'all knew about this and said nothing. But I'm the bad person. Oh, touch not mine and anointing and do my... Shut that shit up. So, 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 so the prophet, so the prophet can do fuck shit, but the person who tell on the prophet is the bad person. See, this, this is what I'm talking about right here. This is what I'm talking about right here. And, and, and I'm going to say it like I want to say it. And y'all that get mad at me and don't want to talk to me no more, that's fine. And Pierre... Prophet Pierre, I love Pierre. But you knew about this man. You knew about this man. You knew about this man. And you didn't say nothing. You knew about this man. And you didn't say nothing. Y'all sat back. Y'all sat back. Y'all sat back. Y'all have been on his flyers. That go for Cortez. Up there in Atlanta. Montez C. Montez Jones. Y'all knew all this mess was going on. And yet it's still. And the reason how this nigga is able to pay to try to get an attorney is because he putting on these church services. He putting these church services on. And y'all sit there and y'all support him. And he try to get folks locked up and put in jail so won't nobody say nothing about him. One of his ex-wives got put in jail because Raheem lied and stabbed himself and said the ex-wife did it. That's just to let you know what type of man this is. The daughter of God. I ain't gonna put nobody's address out here. You made up false police reports and all this other stuff. I'm surprised they didn't even get you for no false police report. Talking about somebody broke in your car. All type of stuff like that. Y'all didn't even have cars for a minute. Y'all even have y'all even have cars for a minute. Joy just got a car. Hello, talking about Joy. Joy came by my house in a black. I think you said a black Impala. Joy just got a car. Child, and how she gonna be?
be at your house a certain time when you're supposed to be at work. Huh? Oh, okay. See, why, why he didn't send me all this paperwork right here? You didn't, you didn't tell me that you had filed a, a, a police report. Talking about somebody had, wait a minute, what this thing say? This thing say, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. Property description, damages. This is a tan, what? A 1997 tan, what? A mercury. Then you got some photos, some vehicle accessories that's on him. What in the hell? I guess you're trying to say somebody broke in your car. You're trying to say you broke in your car? That's right, that's what I'm talking about right here. So you didn't send this to me. You didn't send this to me because had you had to send this to me, I would have cussed your ass all the way out. Had you had to send me this paperwork, right? See, you sent me what you what you wanted me to see because you wanted me to feel sorry for you. But see, I can't feel sorry for you. This ain't right. Hold on, what does thing say? Criminal mischief. On January, February, March, April, May, June, July. On July the 7th, 2022. Mm-hmm. Uh, victim, Raheem Jabari Warren, offense criminal mischief, $200 or less. Serious? On Thursday, July the 7th, at approximately 1.51 a.m., I responded to a, that's the address right there, in Lee County, Florida, um, in reference to a civil complaint. Upon arrival, I met with the complaint, the victim, Raheem Warren. Raheem stated that he currently has an injunction against a female subject whom he identified as Joy, and he believes she damaged his car. Yeah, mm -hmm. Raheem stated that he lives above the church he works for and at approximately 1 a.m. he heard somebody trying to get into the church he advised when he went outside to check on his car a 1997 Mercury uh, license plate blah 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 he noticed the locks were broke he noticed the locks to both front doors were damaged Raheem stated that he believes that Joy was involved somehow because on June 30th, 2022, he received threatening phone calls from her from an unidentified number. He also advised of an incident that took place on July 5th where an unidentified, unidentified person shot at him. So you don't know who shot at you, but you just gonna say it was Joy. See, this is why you didn't send me this paperwork. This is why you didn't send me this paperwork right here. Mm -hmm. Raheem also stated, as he contacted him, Raheem also stated that Joy as has been contacting him through a third party and sending messages to him via social media. He advised one of the messages used his first name. However, due to the wording of the injunction, I am unable to determine if a violation occurred. Huh. Raheem provided a sworn statement describing uh, prosecution. Raheem was advised to obtain a copy of this report and contact the state attorney's office. Digital photographs were taken of the vehicle and logged into its evidence. This report is to be forwarded to Leesburg Police Department Records Division. So you didn't send me this. You didn't send me this. You didn't send me this because y'all, you know, I would have cussed your monkey ass out. You didn't send me this because had you had sent this to me, I would have laid your monkey ass out. See, you don't do stuff like this and think it won't get around to me. I had to, I had to come in town. Talking about somebody uh, less than $200 damage to your car. Nigga, you probably did that shit yourself. I came back in town. Back in town. Only to have to go to court for this. Then, then Raheem said, he made, a, he made on a report. Where is that? Here you go. This is why, this is why, you, this is why y'all get upset with me when I do what I do. Hey, Miss Nikki, Danny, this is why they get upset with me when I do what I do. But I tell the truth. I don't have time to sit out here and BS around with y'all. All right, information report. On January, February, March, April, May, June, July, on July the 5th, 2022, at approximately 1800 hours, 6 p.m., I responded to the area of 1219 address in Lee County, Florida, in reference to a shooting. Wasting my goddamn gas, going to a courthouse, and you didn't pull this shit right here. This is what I tell y'all. I'm like, uh, go ahead and um, let's go ahead and support the campaign. Y'all, because what I'm telling y'all, I got when I say I'm gonna pull this stuff up so y'all can see this. Oh, I'm gonna do a full detailed report. Hear me. I'm going to do a full detail report on this situation. I had to go to court. I am going to drag the shit out you, sir. 
I know, Raheem, I know. I know, sir, we used to be part-time lovers. I understand. I do understand we used to be part-time lovers, you know what I'm saying? But that was that was way back in my middle school days. You know what I'm saying? I ain't heard she did nothing to you since all that back when you all okay? Period. So I don't know what you did since this hence and now. So I ain't got nothing to do with that. You know what I'm trying to tell you? Okay, I'm trying to tell you. While speaking to Raheem, okay? Okay? While speaking to Raheem, with Raheem, he stated that while standing, while standing outside of the eastern portion of the building, he heard what appeared to be two gunshots. Yeah. Gerald, you need to call me. Milk. I'm talking about these fools. Now I need you to call me, Gerald, because we need to get that interview going. Uh, two gunshots on the north of his position. He said he was facing south when he heard two gunshots. And when he stated, when he turned around uh, to observe where the noise was coming from, he observed a black, he observed a black in color four-door passenger car speeding by, traveling eastbound on Main Street. He was unable to provide further descriptions of the vehicle or the vehicle's occupants. Raheem advised he is currently having issues with a black female, Joy Lane, in reference to her violating a no-victim contact order. Raheem had, was unable to provide information on a possible vehicle, on the possible vehicle that Joy drives. So again, here we go, make it up stuff. You don't know who you saw. Oh, hold on. After speaking with Raheem, I uh, canvassed the surrounding area for visible signs. This is what the police said. Reporting officer narrative. Right, right here. This is what the police officer said. After speaking with Raheem, I could uh, I conveyed the surround canvas conveyed whatever he said uh, the surrounding area for visible signs that a shooting occurred, but was unable, but was unable to locate any. Then I made contact with employees at the business, chopped by Corey, located at blah, 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 on Main Street. And they did not hear any gunshots. So you didn't want to send this to me. While on the scene, Lee County Police Department's Communications Center informed me that Raheem has an active warrant out of Lake County. Raheem was then arrested and transported to Lake County Jail. So you tried to get your locked up once again and your ass got locked the fuck up. Oh yeah, we we gonna we gonna look at this. Is we gonna we gonna look at this in depth. Hey Leah, what's up, Lena? What's going on, babies? We gonna look at this in depth, okay? This is all I'm saying. I have always. This is why I try to tell y'all. Why y'all wanna paint me into the bad person, Dana Marie? Why they wanna paint me into be the bad person, baby? I've always provided the facts, proofs, and receipts. You understand? I've always provided that. Baby, I don't I don't just drag nobody for no reason. Okay, okay, girl. Okay, what I got? I don't drag nobody just to be dragging somebody. If I drag you, there's a good reason why I drag you. And I don't have to have no endeavors in the, in the back of the matter. You understand what I'm saying? But to try to get Joy locked up. To try to get Joy locked up. And, and you sending me half the police report? And then you told your attorney to tell the judge that Joy has been sending me stuff? You told your attorney that Joy sent me the paperwork. When you know good and daggone well, you sent me the paperwork. I got the email that you sent it. Hello? You didn't try to get Joy locked up, not one time, not two times, several times, but in this police report, sir, you have lied your ass off. You out here having, filing false police reports. You talking about folks is coming to your building, trying to break in your building, but you ain't seen nobody. Then you talking about folks is shooting at you, ain't nobody in the area seen, nobody shoot at nobody. Y'all make it make sense. Then he gonna text me today, talking about, uh, that video is still up. I took it down because you said that you had an injunction against Joy. And, and you know what I'm saying? I'm like, well, I don't, you know, I don't want no, no part of this. But then after Joy won her lawsuit, I mean, not lawsuit, after Joy won her case and the judge threw this out, oh, my video was going to be up. It was. Mm -hmm. It was. Is. I can't make this stuff up, y'all. I can't make this stuff up. When I tell you I have court documentation, I got court Yes, Kimberly, Joy won. Joy won her case. Raheem was trying to get this woman put in jail. For what? Because she told on you. And to the rest of y'all preachers that sitting out here supporting Raheem and, and, and doing all this type of mess like that, I don't care what Raheem do. I don't care who Raheem sleep with. I don't care what Raheem got going on. It is not my endeavor. I do not care less. At the end of the day, Ryan, what do you mean? Ryan, you late. 
I don't care what he did. What she did, I don't care. Raheem can go to Texas, he can go to Miami and get 50 dicks. Matter of fact, you can get the world record for worse than this one boy who got a uh, hundred, he got 150 loads. You can shoot for 500 loads if you want to. You can go on down to Miami and get plowed if you wanna, okay? Get plowed if you wanna, plowed if you wanna. Go ahead and, and, and outdo the boys world. Go on down there and get plowed. You understand? Go on down there and get plowed. Go on down there and get plowed. You bad. Go on down there. Go on down there and, 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 and get, get, get some more loads. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Sean. I don't care. At the end of the day, y'all gonna stop. Y'all so-called preachers is gonna stop trying to use people and then talking about the devil, the devil, the devil. Kiss my ass, ho. This is not the devil and it ain't got nothing to do with the devil. You are wrong as shit. You wrong as fuck and y'all know better. And y'all are out here using God and using the Lord as a cover-up for your bullshit. Y'all are using God and Jesus and touching that mind and knowing it as a fucking cover-up. And it is wrong. It is wrong as hell. Y'all think it's because you say, well, touch that mind and knowing it. Bitch, he wasn't talking about you. He wasn't talking about you. Y'all think because y'all throw some Bible scriptures out there that that's just supposed to make it all better. It doesn't. Raheem Warren. Matter of fact, how about this? Raheem, what does go mean? Raheem, what does go mean? Hmm? Ain't that what you tell the little young boys and the young girls when you want them to take a picture of something on their body? Huh? Oh, that's in the police report too. What does go mean, Raheem? It don't mean go forth and declare the words of the Lord. What does go mean? What does go mean? When you want the little boys to take a picture of their dicks or their assholes and carrying on or take a picture of their arms or their lips and stuff so you can sit there and beat your meat. Huh? You the nasty. I didn't know this about you. I didn't know this. Hey, Sister Lava. I didn't know this about you. See, I don't play with children. I don't play when it comes down to kids. See, because I've raised a whole bunch of myself. I don't play that stuff. But Raheem, sooner or later, you're going to pay for your shit. And I hope them wives that you just sit out here and then and, and fuck around and, and got into marrying you come out and tell their part of the story. Because that one wife that sat in prison because you stabbed your monkey ass. Hey, Janelle. That one wife that you stabbed yourself and she set her ass in jail because you lied? I hope she come out and testify on you. Mm, I don't even know why y'all women are so scared. I don't know why y'all women are so scared. I want y'all to have a fantastic day. Hey, sister. Y'all to have a fantastic day. Anyways, I got to go over here and talk to Pam. We can talk about these uh, defamations and things. Anyways, y'all heard what I said. And I mean that. And, and Raheem... If you think, motherfucker, if you think you're going to have somebody come serving me, bitch, I'm, I'm, I want to go to court. Bitch, I want to go to court with you that day. I want to go to, bitch, I'm, listen here. I ain't got no current tea, but I got old tea. And bitch, I will, woo God, don't do it. Raheem, please don't do it. Don't do it. Don't, don't make me, don't make me tell how you came to Minnesota. Don't, don't do it now. Don't do it. I took you on down through there. Do not make me do it. Okay? Don't, don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. I got niggas out here suing me for frivolous lawsuits for fucking $20 million when everybody else can drag the fuck out there for the same thing. Raggedy ass niggas. I'm gonna be out here trying to sue somebody for the sake of keep your goddamn name in the motherfucking news. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm so tired. So tired. Baby, ain't nobody taking me to court? Child, please. Anyways. Y'all make sure y'all support the campaign. That's what y'all do. Y'all make sure y'all support the campaign. That's what y'all do. Support the campaign. Support the campaign. These niggas want to be out here riding around. Man, y'all, let me go over with Pam, man. Bye, y'all. Oh, auntie's right here. I got to move my um, fish tank around. I'm going to have to move this out of here. You said tell us how you got to Minnesota. Girl, no, I ain't going to do all that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Cause I, I'm just, I'm just being honest with y'all. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do have history with some of these people, but my thing is, it's like, don't, don't, and like I told him today, don't pull me in nothing. Don't pull me in nothing. You feel it? Don't pull me in nothing. The hell? Come over here, wait a minute. Don't pull me in none of this bullshit you got going on. I'm gonna be out here lying. I know you lying. Maybe I just sat here and seen this, uh, dang on police report. I just seen this police report and you just sat here and lying. Man, don't you say that to me. 
Don't you, don't you, don't you say nothing to me. Y'all heard me. Sure. We gotta do upgrades and updates around here. And folks wanna be out here feeling some type of way, support the campaign. I gotta turn these lights on.